Hey guys, in this video, we'll go over the countout timer. So I'll show you how to create one and how to implement it to Clavio. So for the countdown timer, we use countdown mail. It's easy to use. It's like seven bucks per month. Um, so, but if you have any other preference, go ahead. I'll show you how to use this one. Uh, so we go ahead and create a timer. And here we have different types of timers. So if you're sending a campaign and you have, let's say, a sale or you have a product launch and you have a specific date that it doesn't matter what time or date they open that email, it's going to start or end uh, on that date that you set up. So this is a standard campaign. Um, so it's better to use for like campaigns. Uh, you can design it over here. You can change the colors. You can change if you want um, whatever. If you don't want seconds to show, minutes, whatever you do, uh, whatever you want, you can set up here. Um, when it comes to the flows, we use Evergreen because it depends on when someone opens an email. So, for example, we have an abandoned cart and... First, they get, let's say, a 10% off, but it's only valid for, let's say, 10 hours. So after eight hours, they get a reminder that, hey, it's two hours left. So that timer knows exactly um, what, how many hours uh, they sh it should show, right? So once we have our timer set up the way we want, we click here and we click copy so we copy the code then we go to our campaign let me move this uh, we go to our campaign and we we get the text block so we want to remove this text and then we click source and here command V we paste the code and click save and voila we have our code uh, you can also make it um, center and save so it looks better it's good to have those um countdown timers like right under your hero image so it's on top so they know that okay time is running i need to act now um and yes that's basically pretty simple and that's how you import and create countdown timers so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video